TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial about Microsoft Word. This is our getting started tutorial with Microsoft Word in our Microsoft Word Tips series and I think if you know a little bit about Word, actually let me rephrase that, if you know a lot about Microsoft Word, everything else you do on the computer is going to be that much easier. Now we have Microsoft Word open on the screen and for those of you that are completely new to Microsoft Word, you might need to know exactly how to open it. So to illustrate that, yeah, again, we have it open already, but I'm going to go down to the Start button on the bottom left. I'm going to click on that. This toolbar comes up. I'm going to go up to All Programs. I'm going to navigate up to where it says Microsoft Office. I'm going to go over to the right and all the way down to Microsoft Word 2003. Now what you might observe here is there's actually another version of Microsoft Word on this you can also have a second version of Word on this. You can have Word 2007, but for this series it's going to be all about Word 2003, just the previous version. So I'm going to focus on that, but all I do is click on this right here and it would start right up. When Microsoft Word starts up, you are going to get a completely blank sheet of paper. When you get this blank sheet of paper, the way I want you to think about it is this. Microsoft Word, when it opens, is very similar to taking a notebook, placing it on your desk, and opening it to the first page. The act of taking that notebook out and setting it there, well, in essence, you've opened up Microsoft Word, the software, and I'm going to draw your attention up here on the top to the toolbar, I'm sorry, the title bar, which is this blue bar. When you open up Microsoft Word, by default, it gives this document a name of Document 1. If we draw our attention all the way down to the right hand side, we're going to see on the right hand side we have a minus sign, we have two squares, and an X. And I also want you to observe there's another X down below. When we come back up here, this minus sign is minimized. It will shrink this completely off the screen. I'm not going to do that now. Restore will take this document and do what's called restore down. It will shrink it down to a smaller size, which is what I just did. When you get away from those two squares, now we have a big square, and that's called maximize. So we can size it down, or we can maximize it to bring it back. The X, the red X, will close all of Microsoft Word. Again, remember I said when you open up Microsoft Word, it's like taking that notebook out opening it to the first page. That's what we've done when we opened up Word. But if we decide we want to put the notebook away, that's like closing Microsoft Word and we would do that with this X. One of the things about Microsoft Word, I'm going to draw your attention way over here to the left hand side and I'm going to talk about this very briefly, is this little white sheet of paper. If we click on this, this will create a brand new sheet of paper and it will be named Document 2. Now again, this blue bar is called the title bar and that's where you'll see the name of your document. By default, until we give it a name, it's just called Document 1. The next one would be Document 2, Document 3, etc. But if we come all the way down to the right again and draw your attention to this red X, there's also an X below it. So imagine for a moment that we're working on multiple items. We have multiple sheets of paper open and we could have three, four, five, many sheets of paper open. Well, if we wanted to close just this sheet and not Word completely, we would just click on the bottom X and that controls just this sheet of paper. That's it. So if you have multiple sheets of paper open, that bottom X will close just that particular sheet. So that's a good thing to know about because that can be something that's a little confusing if you don't know about it. Now when we look at Microsoft Word, I want you to first look at these items here. These are three individual items. This top item which shows table, window, tools, this is called the menu. Down below it, this is called the standard toolbar, this whole row right here, the second row. The third row is called the formatting toolbar. And a lot of you might find that this formatting toolbar isn't set this way. Well, I want to draw your attention over here to these little dots just on the left hand side. They can be hard to see in a recording like this, but there's some very subtle dots. Well, if I click on those dots and hold and drag this bar over and up, 
there's a good chance that when you open up Microsoft Word for the first time, it looks something like this. Well, you can again, if you notice these dots, I'm going to click and hold and drag down. This is called drag and drop. I'm going to move it over to the left and release it there. So if your toolbar is up here on the right, I would suggest moving it down because when it's to the right, you typically can't see all the items. So I do recommend that you move it down, drag it down. So we have the menu, we have the standard toolbar, and the formatting toolbar. Those are fundamentals of Word, but I want you to be aware of the fact that when you start using other software such as Excel or PowerPoint, these items are going to be virtually the same when you open those. When we get over here to the bottom right hand side and the top right hand side, if you open up Microsoft Excel for example, these items will look slightly different in Excel. When you open up PowerPoint, they'll look slightly different in PowerPoint. But two-thirds of these items will be exactly the same. And that's another reason why I say if you get good at Microsoft Word and understand what it does and how it works, making the transition to those other items will be just that much easier. So this tutorial, we're sort of focusing on just some of the fundamentals of opening it up, talking about what you can do with Microsoft Word. Well, Microsoft Word is really just a sheet of paper. It's like a pad of paper. You can type anything you want in here, anything at all. Some people use Word for very complex things. For example, if you're a secretary and you use Word all day, well, honestly, you could teach me things about this. I don't really use it that way. If you're a writer or an author and you're writing a book or something of that nature, you'd use it in a certain way. If you're a scientist, maybe you're writing a thesis, well, you'd use Word in a slightly different way altogether. So depending on the nature of the way you use it depends on how much and how advanced you'd want to get with certain characteristics of Microsoft Word. But what I'm going to focus on is the common everyday home or business office user. I'm going to show you the things that are most fundamental to Word and the things that most of us will use on a regular basis. So to start with, I want to draw your attention right here to this blinking cursor. That blinking cursor is called the insertion point. And when I start typing, and I'm going to type my name, Tony Hollowitz, well, I've started putting information in Microsoft Word. The minute I started typing the letter T, I changed this document. And because I changed that document, if I now go up and decide that I want to close this, and I'm going to close it by using the bottom X, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a warning and say, hey, wait a minute, you've, uh, you've changed this. What do you want to do with it? Do you want to save it? So what I want to talk about is, yes, if I do want to save it, I'm going to click on yes. And let me show you what Microsoft Word does. Microsoft Word typically will take the first few things you've typed and automatically insert it into this box as what you want to save the document as. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify it slightly. I'm going to call it Tony Hollowitz 2010 and I'm going to click on Save. So I have just saved that document and at the same time closed it. If I want to open that document, again, I started that process by clicking on the X. If I want to open that document, I can come up here to this little folder. This is one way. I can click on Open. And by default, when you save things in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, they are saved in a folder called My Documents. And here is the Tony Hollowitz document that I just simply typed my name in and I saved. So now I'm going to double click on this and you're going to see it will open up my document. So here it is. If I were to come up and click on the red X now, Word would close. I wouldn't be prompted to do a thing. However, the minute I change this document, even if I just simply hit the space bar to put a space in and then try to close it, what's going to happen is it's going to say, wait a minute, you made a change. Do you want to save that? In this case, I'm going to click no. So I didn't want to save the changes. So fundamentally, you open up Word, you type stuff into it, you save it, you open the old documents if you want to edit them. In our next series of tutorials, we'll get into some of the stuff in a little more advanced way. We'll talk about formatting. But I want to thank you for being here and being part of this initial tutorial. My name is Tony Hollowitz. Go to teachanolddognewtricks.com for all the free computer training you could possibly eat. Thank you. Have a great day.